One is that unless people grasp the climate change, the energy transition, the situation we're in, talking to them about these ideas is probably not going to land very well because if you don't know the, you know, why we would try it in the first place, right? So, But there are countries who have nowhere near the resources to participate in this, so they would be passive observers, possibly even victims, of our efforts or our folly. And oddly enough, those countries are far more amenable to the solutions that we need to enact in order to solve this problem. You would think that, from what you said, that they would be the ones who would be most skeptical. They're not. We're the freaking problem. Was that right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We actually do have some research that colleagues of mine have done in several different countries trying to learn about people's perceptions. And they did find more support for countries in the global south, countries that are facing a lot of climate impacts right now. But I would caution that with most people haven't heard anything about any yeah. of these approaches. 